What is up, guys? McDouble's back again with a brand new video, and today we're going to be doing more Ascension Season 7, Ascension Reborn, and guys, we are continuing from the last video, so I hope you guys enjoy. Let's jump right in. All right, guys, let's do SM Graveyard. You know, dungeons are always really fun at the beginning of a season when people are actually running them in mass and everybody's excited to get new gear. You know, I have pretty decent gear if you're level 20 or 21-ish, uh, but I don't have pretty good gear for a level 31, so there's all sorts of stuff we could get, and we're only a little bit away from getting the 32 and getting a brand new ability, which I think is a sick way to start the video, so let's get into it, guys. Again, we are playing an Exorcism Paladin build with Rejuvenation, Divine Protection, Disarm, Hamstring, and, yes, my friends, the Hemorrhage, which is pretty freaking sick obviously we're pvp focused but i love to get my dungeons in and they did add something with this season or expanded upon the idea at the very minimum which was uh their version of mythic dungeons i believe you gotta admit that's pretty sick let's see what we get 32 okay that sucks ass <gasps> okay rupture is pretty decent Okay, backstab sucks. Rupture it is, man. Rupture is good because I didn't have a way to spend combo points if I didn't want to stun my target, right? Rupture gives me that way. And, you know, we could pick up some weird stuff, right? If we ended up getting, let's say, the shadow form, I could go for a shadow hybrid build, even though I've got a million of those. But we could use it with the rupture, which would gain a lot of benefit from a specific shadow hybrid random enchants that I'll put up on the screen right now. At the very bare minimum, though, it's an AP scaling bleed that, again, spends combo points pretty decent i'll take it one thing i love about dungeons is that they're super worth it right you get into one you play through it you get a massive amount of xp you might get some gear i mean you're guaranteed at the very minimum to get something from that satchel at the end and you get more than one piece in ascension uh and you're so you're gonna get something good basically is what i'm saying it's pretty fun i also have this one quest to turn in a stranglethorn veil we're gonna try to quest in stv i think uh for the beginning of this video see if we can find some people to fight but at the very bare minimum get to Tenaris level so 40 ish i will announce by the way the winners to the giveaway from last video three war chests that give you a pretty massive amount of stuff uh, at the end of the video so if you want to see if you won or not make sure to stay tuned till the end all right interrogator vicious it's a little slow right now i'd say even with the hemo spam because we can't get art of war procs yet oh my god all right it's just me and this oh he's dead okay that worked out what do we get bloody brass knuckles all right don't really care somebody died he actually died, Jesus. So Art of War is pretty important, right? When I use an auto attack or anything like Judgment, Crusader Strike, or Divine Storm, I'm going to have a basically 100% chance to make my next Exorcism instant cast. That's going to be a butt ton of extra damage, guys. All right, we're already halfway to 33. I freaking love dungeons, man. You know, with the new prestige system, making it to where I can basically only play one character if I really want to... I'm pretty excited to constantly re-level, but it actually means something. That was always the one downside to Fellforge mode, right? If you don't know what that is, it was a game mode in the previous season where you could level extremely fast, and it was all about high-risk PvP and open world, but the problem was once you reached max, you were basically just pointless because you died and reset, and so max level didn't actually have any value because uh, what's the point, right? All of your fun came while leveling and there was nothing to do at max. We're trying to solve that. They give you the option to prestige, the option to restart at level one, to go for a better build, to utilize skill cards, right? That you got at max level on the character you earned them with. That's pretty sick. I'm really excited about it. And I've got to say, nothing feels better than uh, actually having the changes you've been begging for become implemented and watch it make the game better but look at my xp dude like what have i cleared to deserve this not not enough right definitely not enough what i will say is mongoose bite is like so garbage i mean heroic strike was basically unusable mongoose bite might as well be as well i mean i don't have any agility scaling so look a 54 my auto attack does more than 54 <laughs> what is the point of that so you know we didn't replace the heroic strike with something that's going to stick around mongoose bite still on the chopping block man as soon as we can Everything else is actually pretty good, though, when you think about it. Yeah, I literally just took Mongoose Bite off my bar. I don't even want the temptation of using it. It's insulting to me. It's not worth it, guys. Just don't do it unless you're agility scaling. It's just so bad. I should have known, man. You can't replace garbage with garbage and expect it to be better versions of the garbage that it was. That didn't even make sense, but I think you know what I mean. It's garbage. It's just garbage. All right, where's the rare? Where is my rare? I don't see him anywhere. Haunting Phantasm, Anguished Dead. If you don't know, SM 
graveyard is supposed to have one of three rares up at some point. I thought it was guaranteed on Ascension. Maybe I'm wrong. I think the best thing about Ascension is that it just does everything Modern WoW should do. And because it's not doing, it's failing, right? Like Modern WoW is trife with petty garbage happening in their company and a lack of good design. So for example, right now I am currently in a dungeon with not a single Horde player. And I just realized that. Two dwarves and two humans. And I got into this dungeon incredibly fast and nobody cares and everybody's having fun. Why not just allow cross-faction dungeons? Why not? You already don't care about the factions anyway in Retail WoW, right? I mean, what's the point in Shadowlands of caring about factions? Just let people play together. And what's the point of being so black and white? In Ascension, I'm a literal outlaw. I can do whatever I want. In Shadowlands, I'm a fake version of the Horde and Alliance from 2006. It's just insulting. Anyway, we're very close to completing this dungeon. I can guarantee at least one more ability from completing this, but we could even get to 35, which would just be nice in general, but at least 34 for that one more ability. All right, guys. In true 3 a.m. World of Warcraft fashion, two people in my group randomly left. As long as I keep everything off the healer, though, I think we'll be fine. I'll kill the ghost, keep up the lightning shield, destroy the ghosts. There we go. There we go. Use that hamstring whenever I don't have the energy for Hemo. I'm going to go for the kidney as soon as that thing might try to uh, debuff me again. All right, we won't even have to do that. I'll just kidney now. And there you go. So we can pull things. He even leveled up off that. He's not even struggling. <laughs> Well, he did just gain a level to be fair, but I want this completion for that XP. I'm not giving up. There's no reason to give up. We're not quitters. Oh, well, we kind of are, but it's okay. This time we're not. All right, let's do this, guys. We are so close. Oh, God, we're so close. All right, can we sneak past? Damn it. That's really bad. That's so bad. Oh, no. All right, we're fine. We just keep everything off the healer, and then he's just god tier. I'm just glad the healer is good at the game. That's always very, very nice, man, when the healer is good at the game. There we go, guys. Level 34. Didn't even have to complete the dungeon. Pyroblast. That's common. Chain lightning, damn, or insect swarm. Interestingly enough, it's all really bad for me, but they're all really good abilities. That's weird. I guess I'll go chain lightning because I can instant cast it if I need swarm strike maybe for some reason later on. I mean, insect swarm is free damage, but it's also a talent point, I think. No, no, no. Yeah, it is a talent point. So I think because chain is the only non-talent point taking ability, we'll just go chain. All right, let's go in for the boss. 2v1. Yeah, look at that. You can already tell. I'll be fine. There we go, guys. This is it. Blood Mage Thalnos and level 35. I hope this healer needs the orb because they deserve it. Yep, and they do. You know what? GG, bro. Have a good night. I will take it you know we both needed each other there for the xp and that other dude just fucking why why were you in Stormwind? anyway vile reef quest 2 almost 36 let's go ahead and bust that out real quick and uh see what our next ability is okay i just gained level 36 yes judgment of light we got it oh what the fuck oh are you kidding Every single one of these is best in slot for the build I'm going for. Actually, well, I probably have a very high chance of getting the judgment. The flash of light is just kind of sad. <laughs> I can't pick it. I have to go Wind Fury, though. It's just too good. Yeah, I will definitely take it. Great balance, by the way, with the Wind Fury being just rare. But yeah, that's going to be a bunch of damage for me now. I'm Wind Fury Hemo, guys. Who would have thought? It's so good. On my very first build, too. You know, we could still end up doing something completely different. We have the Chain Lightning and the Wind Fury. We have the Lightning Shield. This might still end up a nature build. The XO is good. But if we get Storm Strike, you know, we could take this in a completely different direction. On the flip side, if we nail Judgment again, or Crusader Strike or Divine Storm later on, well, we can basically guarantee that we're staying holy. But I like the fact that I've still got basically two builds in front of me, and I could go either way. It just depends on what I get. I'm enjoying that all of my choices seem to be meaningful. Alright, somebody is here killing everything. Nice, let's go for him. Hamstring? This is it, guys. This is totally it. Freest loot. There's the Wind Fury. Exo Chain. I'm going to stun him here. Because, uh, yeah, he's healing. Go behind him. See, really, he could get off a heal here, but he doesn't think he can. 
GG, dude. Let's see what loot we get. Nice glimmering male coif and a potion. Now, the potion is actually big. Coif is pretty good as well, but it's agility based. All right, I'll take it. I think somebody's over here because that raptor just de aggroed something. Oh my god, this is bad, but it's free XP, free everything. It is what it is sometimes. We all understand. We've all been. Oh my god, that's disgusting. But guys. 16,000 XP, a Harpy Claw short bow. It's just worth, I, I just, you can't pretend it's not. Now listen, again, if we were playing retail WoW, that would be the biggest dick move west of the Philadelphia River. And yes, I know there is no Philadelphia River. He even likes my videos, man. But because they drop loot and give XP, it's always worth if they're within that three level bracket, or maybe it's five right now. I'm, I'm not really sure what they decided to make it in this season, but nonetheless, I will take it. Harpy Claw short bow though. That's not too bad. If I had arrows, I would use it right now. But we're going to stick to the little Timmy's, uh, uh, little Timmy's pea shooter, man. No stats. But if I ever need to BM somebody with a quick shot, shoot. Yeah, it'll be good. All right, here's free everything. Hamstring. Nice, guys. Oh my goodness. Free everything. Exorcism. There's the kidney. Chain lightning. Into the shoot. Into the shoot. All right. Wait, what? Well, that's just depressing. All right, note to self. The BM is never worth it. I'm being informed by a friend of mine that I can actually do BGs and they're popping that's pretty unique actually for an ascension fresh season because everybody high risk pvps i do want to try low level bgs if here's a guy let's get on him i mean i'm already on him but i think what i mean is it's time to do, 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 do. and there we go I will take an Agamagon's Clutch every day of the week. Good fortune, consuming a fully stacked Serendipity increases. Okay, so this is a healing random enchant. I'm going to use it though. It's slightly more, well, actually, it's the same stamina as my Blood Ring, but it does give spirit, and uh, more importantly, it gives resilience. I'll take less damage in PvP. And here we go. Let's see what we get. Serpent Sting, Water Walking, Detect visibility. Well, I guess I'll probably take detective visibility. No, no, no. I'm going to take water walking. It's definitely on the chopping block. But you know what? It can be useful, especially when you're running away or chasing somebody in PvP. In the open world, that is. All right, we did make it to level 40 so far. Not very much has happened in between that's actually worth showing. Didn't even get anything good at level 40. But we do have access to four hands of fate now for reaching 40. So we have some chances to get some pretty impactful stuff. Let's go ahead and use them. And, uh, I'll see what we get. Holy Light, Swift Mend, Rebirth, all of which are technically very bad. All right, Holy Light, and of course, don't want any of that to be replaced. Not even the water walking, right? All right, Hand of Fate. Wow, this is all really bad. I guess I could replace the Overpower. That would allow me to get a Demon Pet because I'll have access to Soul Shards. That's by default going to be better than just trying to do a makeshift rando P build, I think. Really? Overpower again? Okay, nothing good there. All right, we have a rare. Fire resistance, Zara. Holy Nova! Yes, holy Nova, dude! Oh my god, I can't replace any of this, I think. I guess I could get rid of Divine Protection, and this will give me a chance of getting Divine Shield now. It's a pretty risky one, but I think it might just be worth it. We actually had access to a pretty cool epic enchant earlier with the Holy Nova. Holy Retribution makes it to where my Holy Nova basically stacks off attack power, but does less healing. So it could be AoE for me if we need it to be. And we're still going with a, well, a Holy Hybrid build. I'm actually very happy with that pickup. I think uh, it could lead to some pretty cool stuff, and it freed us of a legendary card, so we can get some better legendaries, like I said. It had to be done eventually. I'll probably miss it, but uh, yeah, we will get something to replace it. That much I can guarantee. Now, what it is, I don't know. All right, I just got armor to the teeth. This increases my melee attack power by three for every 150 armor I have. I'm using all male armor, and we also have the Devotion Aura, giving us an extra 355. This puts my AP at 463 at the moment, which is really surprisingly low. I'm going to go ahead and turn this quest in, do a couple more, maybe go into a BG, but at the very minimum, hit up Tenaris. All right, we're now using Holy Retribution, so Holy Nova does physical damage and scales off AP. Pretty sick. We'll have to see if it's good. All right, level 41. I think we could probably kill all of this stuff, right? Look at that damage. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have a mana problem probably, but not if we actually get the kills and level up off it. We actually ran out of mana while spamming, but we were able to kill everything even though it was kind of close. But you could just tell. What? 
Ice metal barboot. I think that's how you say it. Let's put that on. That's freaking massive. But anyway, I guess you guys can see that if I just have more mana, I can probably get off a lot more holy novas and do a lot more damage. So we're definitely going to go that strength in hybrid type of gear if we can. Chest here. Insignia chest guard. Not that good. Holy nova actually hits harder than hemo right now. It just costs so much more. Ember scale cape. Damn. Yeah, that's certainly better than what I have on. I'll take the stamina. All right. This is going to be level four. 42. Let's see what we get. Healing wave. That's not too bad. That can replace greater heal. Insect swarm. Astral recall. That's bad. All right. Healing wave. We'll take it. This means I can get rid of the greater heal later down the line, but at the very minimum, I can prevent people from totally locking me out of my heals since I have both a nature and a holy spell to use. The greater heal is healing for, let's see, 639. The healing wave is healing for 584. It's not that big of a difference. I'll definitely take it, but we need more mana for sure. Okie dokie. We beat Gorlash real quick. That's Smoth's chest, and we have the Blood Sail Buck in your quest done as well there we go that's gonna be a pretty massive amount of xp guys after this i think we'll hit up to all right guys i went ahead and i bought a customization potion so that you guys won't be able to know my name during the making of this video obviously when it goes out you'll know but by then i'll probably have a different name too all right return to character select to do what you gotta do i can do that and now we are anew all right level 43 and there you go 44 levitate insect swarm arcane explosion levitate is actually the best one here for me we don't have slow fall anymore so we can use levitate for the same exact not happy about it but it is what it is we have plenty more levels to go so we'll be fine oh shit here's somebody we can fight guys let's go for it there we go he can't run i have the art of war proc so i can just use that yeah war stomped kidneyed oh lord this oh he's oh look at the wind fury damage oh my god thank you for the loot oh yes dude wait who's attacking me now are you kidding oh no we're on this guy he's dead he's dead i leveled you're so screwed dude you're screwed on every level possible <laughs> Oh, you messed up. There's the art of war. Oh my god, you guys messed up. Here's the sprint. Oh, this is so bad. This is embarrassing. They came to help their friend for a 3v1 and they lost. Oh, oh, dude. Wow. You had potions too. Thanks for the potions. I'll, well, they're shit potions to be fair. Wow, that's embarrassing. I'm sorry, guys. That's just wrong. But you did deserve it for what you did. And you know you did. See, guys, if you're a solo player, you can still survive. It's just every single person that ganks you has to suck. <laughs> that simple so a lot of you are probably watching right now and thinking you know mcdoubles there's no logical way that all three of them all of which had similar hp to you all of which were working together could have just been bad and you're right they were probably just fine players but i probably won because i know what i'm doing right uh for example i took some things that are especially solid for me right now like blood craze everybody's trying to crit so i get six percent of my base health which is increased because i'm a taran it's not a ridiculous amount of healing but everything counts that's taking away with the rejuve basically i'm kind of a tank right now in that regard i have a lot more health than your average player because i know what to prioritize gear wise and i'm very efficient with my money i was able to sell some stuff that i got and uh, make some money and i was able to purchase a kang the decapitator for nine gold okay nine gold you can't even pretend like you can't get nine gold for a kang so it's just keeping the eye on the auction house if you want to put it that way all right waste wander justice and that's level 46 boys let's see what we get all right nothing special it seems lightning bolt could still be good wow this is all garbage i guess i'm gonna go flame shock although i'm not happy about it it's not good could be some extra damage at some point though so it's not the end of the world you know it is instant damage you should never ever sleep on instant damage Remember, we did actually re-roll our Legendary Divine Protection card so we could try to get a better Legendary later down the line. I'm also not using that random enchant to turn Holy Nova into straight-up physical damage at this point because it just wasn't good enough, but I think it would be solid for PvE. Not much else will get the blood pump in like a 1v3. <laughs> um, I like it. Let's go ahead and uh, I think I'm actually going to do a ZF now, to be honest with you. I can get all three ZF quests here in Yajitzan. Uh, Q should be rather fast, and we'll get a ridiculous amount of XP for that too. I'm not too concerned about trying to level slow because I can just prestige if I feel like it and restart. I actually already have some other specs. Here's a guy. All right, he's slowed. Flame shock on this guy right off the bat i'm gonna go for the rejuve i'm not sure what he is all i know is he has no mana nice oh yeah kidney there we go 
Flame Shock. There we go with the Art of War. Really? Oh my god, the NPC stole my kill. What a joke. What a joke. Well, it's fine. At least we know we won. And he knows too, and that matters as well. I'll take it. Okay, so remembering to keep up Lightning Shield when I don't have it macro to charge or something is actually super annoying. So I'm gonna go Static Shock now. The cool thing about this on Ascension is that the Capstone bonus says that with the final rank of Static Shock, my Storm Strike will add three charges to my Lightning Shield. So if I get the Storm Strike, I'll never, ever, ever have to worry about clicking X again um, to get that Lightning Shield up. But at the very bare minimum, if I put the points into this after I'm out of combat, I'm gonna get a bunch of extra additional charges and an additional effect so it's going to be more offensive and less purely defensive so you can see it right there six additional charges is genuinely no joke and a 12 percent chance to throw a charge at my opponent when i deal damage with melee attacks and abilities that includes hemo guys that includes the hemo so nine stacks going to be a hell of a lot easier to use now i gave up three crit uh just for the meantime because i was just putting points into conviction just to have something uh, but i think the three percent crit won't be that deep over the uh free lightning orb damage as well as the extra convenience uh from all the extra charges highly recommend that if you go with the lightning shield all right we're in let's do zf I changed my name like I said, or I think I told you guys, but regardless, I changed my name so nobody knows who I am, meaning I'm getting nothing but genuine interactions and nobody's going to camp me. I made sure this time that I was smart in that regard. Ooh, Gazrilla, what the hell? Wondrous Wisdom Ball. Hey, 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 wait. Where did you- this thing that gives you quests, where did, where did you get this? I want this. Wondrous Wisdom Ball. What the fuck? He said it came from the war chest. I don't have it. Maybe I do and I just didn't see it. All right, I'm already noticing it. We are definitely not set up properly gear-wise for PvE uh, because we definitely need more mana. So we can't really use the Holy Nova right now. The Art of War is dicey, but we're lucky because the Exo doesn't have a super high mana cost. But really, we're just Wind Fury Hemo at the moment. It's not that bad, as you can see. And we can still go for the Rupture sometimes, maybe switch targets, just let the bleed go off on that guy. I think we'll complete this pretty fast, though, and I really do think we're going to to go past 50 after this dungeon and all the quests are said and done which i'm not complaining about that's awesome thanks bro see somebody already noticed i have wind fury and hemo and it's just unfair it's just so good dude i knew i got lucky too that's the best part when you know you got lucky to be honest with you and level 47 didn't do a single thing yet quest wise didn't even complete the dungeon this could put us in a completely different direction prayer of healing's not worth it shadow burn is solid it gives me a soul shard but I already have Drain Soul for that, and unless I'm going full Shadow Hybrid, which we don't really know if that's going to be possible, the Shadow Bird's not as good. Now, the Raptor Strike's not great for a Seal of Righteous build, but if we do end up going, let's say, Melee Hunter, the Raptor Strike's not bad. I'm going to choose it just in case. We have it. It's an option for the future, but at the very bare minimum, we can re-roll it at 50 if it looks like we're actually getting stuff to point us in a completely different direction all right guys this should be 49 at the very minimum 49 i will take it oh yes big bad pauldrons and we might go for gazrilla too all right despite the fact that two people in this group left as soon as we finished it and did not want to do gazrilla we did it anyway three man easy mode good game guys let's go turn in our quest so this random merry band of adventurers came to me and asked me if they could invite me to the group and use my aura and i had the idea Instead of following them and letting them use my aura, I'm just going to give them one. And then I thought, let's get some clout out of it and put it in the video. <laughs> I'm just, well, I'm kind of half joking. But anyway, uh, enjoy it, little moist. Okay, three quests to turn in. Four, actually, if we go back to Dustwallow Marsh for the Gazrilla one. All of which are going to give massive amounts of XP. And a Mason's Fraternity Ring. That's pretty good as well. Replaces the Blood Ring. Level 50. <laughs> Oh, yeah. First level 50 of the season. Oh, my God. What a horrible start. Fireball overpower. I'm going to go overpower. It's all really bad. I could have gone astral recall, I guess. I'm just not that desperate for an extra hearthstone. I have plenty of ways to uh, hearthstone right now. But level 50 is a pretty big deal. Let's go ahead and turn in scarab shells. Level 51. I'm telling you guys, massive XP right now. We started this journey in Zulfarak at like 47. We're already 51. Two more quests to turn in still. And a bunch more draft cards so we can re-roll everything. All right, 20 troll temper. And that's 52. Heroic strike. Conjure water. Redemption. I'm actually going to go 
conjure water. It's actually not bad. It's pretty useful. I'll definitely get my money's worth on that. Well, I think you know what I mean. Money's worth, but whatever. All right, let's go ahead and train everything we need to train. I love the new animation, by the way. This wasn't here in previous seasons. The little phoenix wings. I like it a lot. All right, one more quest and we'll grab our draft cards and start re-rolling stuff, right? Remember, there's still a legendary in there somewhere that we could get. And there we go. Carrot on a stick. Almost level 53. I'll take it. All right, guys. So we have five hands of fate let's uh get on it hope we get something good right heroic strike flash of light that's very good consecration wow guys these are actually all very good now the fact of the matter is i can get free flash of lights over the exo with art of war the consecration could be really cool though but i think flash of light is technically better and we just get rid of some of these other heals, right? or maybe not maybe we do just consecration screw it let's consecration all right so it's consecration over probably conjure water so let's go ahead and do that all right i'm very happy with that roll again we have the holy nova and the consecration now if we're gonna go a holy build this is actually pretty amazing aoe when you think about it now we're level 53 and this definitely means we can pick up things like crusader strike and we left open a talent point just for that let's keep going safe fall drain life cleave none of that's very good i guess safe fall would be the best i'll take it over the flame shock actually no, no, I'm stupid. Over the overpower. Now I'll take less damage when I fall. And overpower was useless for me anyway. All right, what's next? Flame strike, slam, sunder armor. This is all bad. Yeah, that's all like really, really bad. All right, next one. Prayer of healing, arcane shot, backstab, all garbage. Definitely all garbage. Last one, guys. Unstable affliction. What an interesting one. Not good for me, but interesting. Mind vision, flash heal. Well, that's not Flash of Light. That's not quite the same. I guess Flash Heal could be better than Greater Heal. It's not better than Healing Wave, though. All right, I think we're good. Really, we only gained the Safe Fall, weirdly enough, and the Consecration combo, which I'm pretty happy with. I'll take it. All right, so we just maxed out Mental Quickness. This increases my bonus spell damage by 20% of my melee attack power, up to 40% because my primary stat is Strength. So the Exorcisms are going to hit a heck of a lot harder now because we have 208 bonus damage. And yeah, level 53 off to a pretty dang good start but okay guys that's gonna be the end of episode two if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and to subscribe more ascension videos coming we've got to reach 60 and we've got to experience some max level content some prestige some high risk some notorious monsters monster nests and all of the stuff that season seven has to offer so once again if you enjoyed it give the video a like right after this i'm going to go ahead and go over the winners of last video's giveaway and i'm going to give you a little surprise to those of you that actually decided to wait this long watch the video for this long and say that i'm going to actually give out one more war chest with this video all you need to do is leave a comment with your in-game name in the comment and make sure in that comment you include the following word and i put it up on the screen so hope you guys enjoyed the video all right I was going to go through the whole shebang of showing you guys the process of rolling for the different names on the YouTube comment picker website, but the fact of the matter is, so many people didn't follow directions by leaving their name, or they didn't want the reward, I guess, so they didn't put their name, that it ended up being convoluted and basically a complete nightmare to edit. So I'm going to go ahead and put the names of the winners up on the screen now. They all won fairly. They were all the first three people that I rolled who left their name uh, that well, now get a war chest. So congratulations to you guys. None of you are online as I'm recording this, so I'm going to mail everything to you guys as we speak. Congratulations. McDouble's out.